Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is uh, Season 3, Episode 5 of Married to Medicine. I'm going to go right through this real fast. Um, Simone was the first thing. Dr. Simone, with her crazy behind, Jackie did an ambush on her um, fit as the new it. She did an ambush on Simone and went and cleared out the candy. She found a candy drawer and all of this shit. Simone had all this shit she ain't supposed to have dolls. That fool had a nerve to say, I like a little Diet Coke with my vodka. I'm like, you know what, Simone, you are a goddamn fool. I love them too. Um, I just love their dynamic together. They are just real silly and it really tickles me. Um, next we see Heavenly and that fucking stupid ass Toya and they go over to Lisa's house, doing nothing but agitating and trying to get tea. So they go over there, and they're literally kiki in and carrying on, and really thinking that the shit that went on with Quad was cute. Yeah, it was cute for that moment, I guess. But if you have to go to court, and all this footage is sitting around of how you basically are kind of like, you're kind of like bragging about what went on and how it went on. And you think it's real cute, Lisa. Wasn't nothing cute about it. Was it nothing cute about it? First of all, you're running around here at the top of a multi-level marketing business. Running around doing motivational speeches. And then acting like a fucking hood rat. But accusing other people of being hood rat bitches. When really it's just you. Get out of here. Anyway. Old fake ass Lisa Lisa look alike. Um, anyway, Qua and Dr. G, they had a scene together and see now I don't already told y'all. Y'all know I love Qua. I like Dr. G. Dr. G pisses me off sometimes because he will fall into that mode of feeling like Qua has to kiss their ass. She does not have to kiss these women's ass. She doesn't have to play backseat to them. She doesn't have to do any of that. She doesn't have to take any of the, bu the abuse that they give out. And I understand where he's coming from as far as reputation and not being out in the street, carrying on. But guess what? You ain't got to go. She doesn't have to go into the street and fucking cower in corners and hide and carry on and swallow 10 miles of shit either. She don't have to do that. She really don't. I mean, it is what it is. And in this instance, that bitch started it, quite finished it, end of story. So go on, Dr. G, and sit down somewhere now. Now, I'll be trying to take it easy on you. Sit your ass down. She ain't got to take that back seat. and ain't got to be abused. Anyway, moving on. Um, oh yeah, and he felt like she was kind of being over dramatic. But what the fuck? You married her. That's that's her. She's over dramatic. What's the problem? I'm sure she's over dramatic in every aspect of your life. You can't pick out what times you want her to be over dramatic. That's part of her personality. Ask me how I know. I'm a bitch that's over dramatic. And I'm over dramatic all the motherfucking time. It is what it is. Shit. Moving on. And I still love you, Dr. G, but God damn it, cut it out. Anyway, moving on. Um, Simone. Simone had to, this was kind of rough. She had to explain her father's absence in the life of her and her children and how it was actually due to alcoholism. So that was very touchy, very touchy uh, situation. And I thought that it was interesting that she wanted to share that. Because, I mean, I've shared some things just over YouTube that at times it's a little hard, you know, to share things that are that close. But look at, you know, the scale that she's actually sharing on was pretty huge. So, I don't know. My hat's off to you, Dr. Simone, with that one. But that was touchy and, and very, um, that was interesting. Very interesting. Um... Next, we got that damn G uh, Toya and Jill, the new girl Jill. So I'm looking to see what's up with Jill, because I think she's pretty much a drunk bitch, too. Which is cool, though. I mean, you know, it's cool, but I think I like Jill. But anyway, they're talking back and forth. That fucking Toya, 
She just sell her soul to the devil for Satan. She literally, she sitting there talking about how her baby steals from the refrigerator. That motherfucking baby is not going to be allowed to go nowhere. Nowhere. He's bad as fuck. You have no control over this fight. He's a baby. He's a baby. If he's stealing out of the refrigerator, going outside without a coat, carrying on the way that, you, that he carries on, and he's a baby, what the fuck happens when he becomes school age? Like actual school age. Seven, eight, nine years old. What happens then, Toya? What are you going to do? Just keep sitting around inebriated and acting like it ain't going on, you fucking idiot. Ugh. Anyway, one, and one of her kids called, a baby was that baby again, called her on being a drunk bitch. She run around talking about mommy juice and the baby done told her no more mommy juice. Now you know shit that got bad when the baby tell you to lay off the hooch. She's a clown. I don't know. And the fuck, what is your husband doing? Ignoring your drunk ass? What is that? You better get a hold on this bitch and get a hold on that motherfucking baby. Fucking baby running the goddamn baby running the damn house. Who ever heard of such? Tacky. Tacky Toya. And the motherfucker. I like the baby. Shit, he got more sense than Toya. Lord have mercy. Anyway, she plans a night out. Her and Jill plan this night out. They call Lisa. This fucking bag under the eye whore had the nerve to sit and say, I'm a prey on it. Really? Bitch, a week ago you was throwing water and cutting folks with glasses and carrying on, and now today you done put your halo back in place? Really, Lisa? Really? So show us in that big house of yours, where did you hide your black wings, honey? Uh-huh. Full of shit. Anyway, so then Lisa goes down to her company, threatening them and carrying on. They're all in the room, and she's telling them there's a mole, and and somebody that shared my business with Quad, and this, that, and the other. Okay, well, you ain't special. Some motherfucker came clean. Came clean. Probably somebody you done did something to. Probably ain't even one of your employees that you got now. It's probably an ex-employee that you done pissed off with some of your bullshit or that Darren that stuck his little dick in them sideways. You know, you never know. But she is threatening them people. I saw them people was like, fuck you, Lisa, bitch. Get on out of here, honey. Anyway, but she threatened them to her. She gonna do a, I'm going to do a major investigation. The last time that you went doing investigations, it brought you to where you're at now. Maybe you ought to stop digging in the past and fucking with people, you goddamn clown. Anyway, we go back to uh, Simone's house. That damn Cecil, you know, I told you, I like Cecil and Simone together because they're both, they're crazy. Something wrong with them. But that fool was sitting around there making jokes about going to the strip club um, and talking about you got to put, you go, he goes there, he only goes to Magic City to find out what type of shoes to buy Simone. And so I leave the shoe money in the car because if I don't take the shoe money in the car, I'm going to lose it too. Child, I about fell out. You hear me? He's a clown. I like them. I really like them too. Um, Once they get going on the trip, they're going down to the strip club. Okay, that was the girls' night out. So we know why Lisa was resorting to the Bible fool, you know, foolery is because, you know, she didn't want to go to know where the dare might have been. And her dreams actually came, or nightmare, actually did come true. They went on down to the to the club. First, they started off, Toya was, Toya and Square Boxhead Ass Heavenly were reading about the bus. Like that the bus was low budget, this, that, and the other. Well, Heavenly, baby, your glam squad is low budget. So, shut up. Anyway. They went on with that mess. Lisa was a complete stick in the mud all night long. Just a stick in the mud. And after a while, that fucking laugh of Dr. Heavenly's had gotten on my nerves. You ever uh, know she did, laughs like witchy poo? <laughs> oh. Girl, I want to take a broom and knock the fuck out of her. Her laugh is so horrible. That laugh is like she should have her big ass up on the top of a house 
rocking back and forth, honey. And he, oh, horrible, horrible, horrible. But anyway, at one point, Lisa had her ass in the club trying to record, recruit bitches into her MLM. I said, is this girl serious? I feel really sad here. This, that thing, and the other. Oh, she went on and on. But she got her chance to feel sad, baby, when the stripper turned around and looked at her and said, how's Darren? Baby, she got to snap it out. You don't know my husband. Don't fuck with me like that. I said, oh, she got her black wings back on again, honey. Everybody hold the glasses down, honey. And she's got to carry it on. And you don't know my husband. Girl, that stripper gave her, honey. I do know him, honey. I wouldn't lie. He's here all the time. This is his favorite place. He has curly hair. This, that, and the other. I was going to say, girl, if she tell us what side that sucker lean on and curve to, I'm going to fall out, honey. She was really giving it up, honey. And the more Lisa got upset, the more tickled the girl became. I said, girl, you better go on, honey. But you better watch yourself because Miss Lisa will, will sure attack you, honey. Because she's an attack dog, honey. You got to watch her, honey. Mm -hmm. Just a mess. But that's basically really all that the episode consists of. But it was funny to watch that bitch squirm in that strip club. And she ends up tearing it around and blame everything on Jill. That, like, Jill paid the stripper to do that. Girl, why Jill got to waste her money when your husband is a hot, whorish, mess. Nobody got to waste no money on that. He's making it rain, honey. That's just a mess. Anyway, you guys know how to do this. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You know what to do. Leave me some comments. I'm still, I apologize again about being late with this video. Still trying to work through what I got going on, you know. Had a little, couple little health things going on, but I'm trying to get it all together. So, trying to catch up, guys. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.